everyone welcome back and this is Naveen from your brains uh, in this video we are going to discuss about uh, the destructuring concept uh, from ESX feature so let's see how is destructuring concept uh, let me open a web store let me just copy everything and comment out so let's see the uh, destructuring yeah so destructuring from year 6 version so what exactly the destructuring is you know uh, the concept called construction right so what is construction construction means the uh, building one after the other right same like that then what is destructure so destructure means uh, you're gonna uh, I mean you, you wanna divide that into pieces and you're gonna destroy it right so the same uh, is a kind of uh, uh, same story, but what exactly destructuring concept is is mostly we use uh, in the real time because uh, there we have uh, an object right there we have uh, complex objects. Let's take uh, an object which contains a multiple nested uh, objects Okay, so there are multiple levels so till now we already discuss uh, Objects concept and we discuss the nested objects, but thing is only just one or two levels nested right so uh, student object contains address object just one or two levels but in really if you want to uh, design a real world uh, application with an objects so that can be a complex object so object contains uh, a lot of data i mean a lot of uh, nested objects so if you want to access uh, if you just is imagine this imagine an object which contains a 15 levels of nested object but i want to access the last value the last object i want to access so what you do object one dot nested dot nested dot nested up to the 15 dots and you have to access that so you have to write the lengthy uh, uh so dots to, to access the last value right so in this case that whole thing can be simplified and you can even access a particular data from an object we can use destruction. It's very very important concept of uh, JavaScript. So let's see a practical example. What exactly destructuring here? Uh, so I just take a nested object here. So let's uh, student is equal to an object. Uh, here we have a first name or just take a name. Okay. So name is uh, Arjun. Arjun Reddy and the age is 23 and the codes is uh, MBBS okay and the college um, you can do like this let's take an address is another object and say uh, city uh, city is Hyderabad and let's take a stage uh, is gonna be uh, sorry uh, first I write a street so street I'm gonna write is gonna be um, something high tech city okay and then uh, stage is gonna be the TS okay and let's take uh, hobbies okay hobbies is an object which contains actually um mm, okay let's take regular hobbies is an object uh, which contains uh, some data okay so regular hobbies let's take uh, mm, okay regular hobbies let's take an array uh, or else let's take an object with some id is one and uh, uh, hobbies okay so just say regular hobbies is gonna be an array so let's say something called uh, reading books and um, let's say playing cricket okay fine uh, so let's make another one uh, here uh, regular and this is um, occasional So occasional uh, you have uh, ID it's its own ID only one object so let's take occasional obvious uh, is gonna be something called uh, 
playing cards and the playing online games okay let's take online games uh, simple actually I just want to display a, I just want to make a complex object okay so we have an object okay fine uh, now here uh, tell me I want to access the street city and state tell me how to access the street city and state uh, so here we are access street how to do student dot address dot street student dot address dot city and student dot address dot state but instead you can go with direct shortcut that's called destructuring concept so what is that is so destructuring is so let's you can take an object like this is equal to student dot address okay so i'm just accessing uh, the address object and inside data you can keep with the local variables like a street and the city and the state so you're gonna access in this way this is actually called as uh, destructuring so you can access only the few elements from the object so not the whole objects i just want to access only the few elements that's called destructuring only the few things so it's got destructure the existing objects okay fine and uh, you can just print it console.log of uh, you will write back take a street so you can access the street just like a street okay and you don't need to mention say uh, student dot address dot streets not required and then um, you gonna write the city is gonna be the just directly city and then uh, state you can directly access the state okay see here you get answer okay so this is actually called as destructuring concept and one more thing sir i want to access the regular hobbies i just want to access the regular hobbies here how to access student dot hobbies dot regular dot regular hobbies okay so instead you can write like this let's okay regular hobbies you can access let's uh, something is equal to uh, you have to write in first time and then uh, you can use it a number of times student dot um, hobbies dot regular okay so inside whatever the data is there you can access it here I just use the regular hobbies and uh, you can use that so here actually you have only one uh, thing you can have multiple things also you can just declare them over here and you can use them uh, so how to do simply I can just do a console.log of regular hobbies directly so you can access the data okay so this is actually a uh, destructuring concept and we use this destructuring concept very extensively in uh, react.js because there we use multiple a lot of uh, ES6 features even the classes and all this but this is very very important concept we're gonna use in uh, uh, even node.js also okay so this is about destructuring concept of ES6 and thank you so much for watching and please subscribe to my channel and we'll meet in the next video thank you